What's going on guys, my name's Zach. Welcome to this introduction video for a little series which I'm currently working on. Uh, I'm pretty much halfway through at the minute, but what I really need from you guys is to get some feedback as well because I think I'd like to integrate integrate that into the, the series just to make it that little bit uh, extra cooler. Um, so basically the this series is going to be in five parts and it's all about how to make e-videos or like any other game videos, but obviously we'll be focusing on the e-footage and just literally everything you need to get in order to make like a decent e-vid or like how to understand how to do some like basic editing and things as well as like some advanced stuff at the end. So we're going to split it down into sort of five parts. Uh, I think it will be pretty good uh, depending on how long the run I might go like f uh, six or seven depending. Um, just so just for a brief overview like part one will be going over the programs which I use and some other programs which I would recommend using um, especially for recording I get tons of questions about that and that's probably the big one which people want to know like as much information as possible because like Shadowplay, Bandicam, DxTory, OBS there's absolutely tons of programs out there and you'll definitely find one which you like so you can use it all the time like personally I use Shadowplay because it's just literally click button receive video at the end no like messing about with that so I make it a little bit easier on myself and um, part two will be covering just some basic editing and in this series we're going to be like focusing on After Effects um, I know it's not the best just to do some little especially basic edits it can be quite of a, a bit of a cluster fuck but if you stick with it I think you can like edit easy with it I mean I'm like quite used to it now I've been using it for a couple of years and uh, it seems all good to me, even though like other programs like Premiere might be a little bit user friendly for people that's never like done any editing before. But um, hopefully with this basic editing guide, you can like from day one just jump into After Effects and um, like do some editing work with it, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, part three will be covering audio, uh, everything from working with waveforms in After Effects on the audio files to make the editing a little bit easier for yourself like how to find out where the music kicks in without having to RAM preview and things like that and um, as well as using Audacity which is a free download program as well really cool for editing audio especially commentaries um, I mean this clip here I'm talking with Audacity but I haven't done any post work on, on my voice sort of thing and now I'm using the Audacity post settings which is really nice gives you like a lot more bass in your voice and I just think it makes commentaries and stuff sound a lot better even if you've got like a shitty mic, we'll go over things like how to remove noise and other things like that, which is uh, always good. Uh, part 4 will probably be covering advanced editing, which is things like adding like lens flares in with like plugins for After Effects or how to make your own. Just like crazy stuff which I've used in the past, like some nice uh, transitions and things. Just anything you guys want to see, we'll, we'll try and throw in there to make it look pretty cool. Um, part 5 will be rendering, uploading and compressing as well as doing some Photoshop for thumbnails. Just like literally just basic stuff especially for Photoshop just to get yourself a thumbnail because um, it's always nice to have a nice thumbnail and I'm proper OCD about mine when it comes to it. I mean even Suetonias which I've been doing for years easy like quite recently like I spent ages doing them just to get them absolutely perfect <laughs> but obviously you don't need to go that OCD and things like that. So yeah pretty cool. I th I'm halfway through the series at the minute but like I say if you give us some feedback on what you guys want to see like how do I do this in After Effects or can you show us how to do this effect or other things like that and I'll try and like integrate it into the series which I mentioned earlier and I think that'd be really cool having some uh, mentions in there from you guys as well which is nice so yeah like I say shoot us a mail uh, I mean you don't have to just wait for the series to come out you can mail us or get in touch with us in Zach's pub or give us a convo anytime about things like this I'm always on hand and uh, I'm in my pub, like Mike has in there as well, and loads of other people that make vids, which is all cool. So if I'm not online, I'm sure you can find someone to help you out. So yeah, that's it, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. As the world fell, each of us, in our own way, was broken. It was hard to know who was more crazy. Me. Or the